And they put up just a tiny fraction of that. And, you know, we all want to see success, but it's far more important to them than it is to us because of that location. We are never going to be a country ruled by entrenched political dynasties in both parties, rotten special interests, China-loving politicians, of which there are many. You listening to this, Mitch McConnell? Are you listening? And a militant left-wing news media that's either frightened of telling the truth or is truly evil and bad. I don't know. I think, I think in many ways they're frightened. But you never really know which. We are not going back to this mindset. Not now. Mark, we can't lose you. Just stay healthy. Stay healthy, Mark. We're not going to lose you. In 2016, we took away the power of this corrupt political class. And we did more in four years than any administration in the history of our country. If you look at what we did. We shut down the illegal foreign invasion at our borders and achieved the most secure border in U.S. history. We deported illegal criminal aliens by the tens of thousands. MS-13, taking them out by the thousands. We set records every single week we were cleaning up our country. I smashed the false idols of the free trade fanatics. These are fools, or they're getting very rich, probably the second. And left the China lobby reeling from our historic tariffs and taxes that we charged them, bringing in hundreds of billions of... Remember when the Democrats and my Republican opponents would often look at me during the debates or whatever and they'd say, uh, no, no, he's going to bring us into World War III because it's a personality type. They said I had the person. No, I had the personality type that kept us out of wars because people knew that they weren't going to mess around with it. That's why I rebuilt our military. We were strong. We were safe. And I told Delinquent foreign nations, they were delinquent. They weren't paying their bills. That if they wanted our protection, they had to pay up and they had to pay up now. And they did. They paid $450 billion as soon as I said, no, I won't be protecting you if you don't pay. We truly had a policy of peace through strength. This was a serious, powerful, policy, and we didn't have to lose our loved ones fighting wars in countries that nobody's ever heard of. I stood firm against the forces of anarchy and decay. I arrested the Marxists who toppled statues of our great heroes in Washington, D.C. We arrested them. They were knocking down the most beautiful artwork, the most beautiful statues of great heroes. They didn't even know who they were doing. They just wanted anarchy, and I passed and signed an executive order. Anybody that does that gets 10 years in jail with no negotiation. It's not 10, but it turns into three months. And it's an incredible thing that stopped right away. You know, they were heading to the Jefferson Memorial. They wanted to take out Thomas Jefferson. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to let that happen. But we passed it. It was a very old law, and we found it. One of my very good legal people, along with Stephen Miller, they found it. They said, sir, I don't know if you want to try and bring this back. I said, I do. <laughs> and as soon as we passed it, that was the end. They just stopped. It's amazing. It's a miracle. We banned transgender insanity from our military. <laughs> and signed the world's first ban on critical race theory long before anybody had even heard of the term. It was all banned. Everything was good. When Biden came back in, this guy came in and he put everything right back in place where it was. We were paying these people hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in salary, among our highest paid people, to teach all of this nonsense to our military yet. But it was all out. It was all done. 
There's only one president in history who has ever taken on the entire corrupt establishment in Washington. And when we win in 2024, we will do it again even stronger, faster, and better because Because now I am experienced, and I know the people of Washington. I didn't know them. I was from New York. I only came here 17 times, they said. I read that in the fake news, so probably it's not true, but it's the best I could do. And I never stayed over. I was from New York, but I now know the good ones, the bad ones, the weak ones, the strong ones. I know them all. I know the people that have to do the job and can do the job. A lot of them are in this room right now. And as I did for four incredible years, I will put America first every single time, every single day. From the beginning, we have been attacked by a sick and sinister opposition, the radical left communists, the bureaucrats, the fake news media, the big money, special interests, the corrupt Democrat prosecutors. Oh, they're after me for so many things. Oh, those prosecutors. Some are racists. Some hate our country. They all hate me. They'll get me for anything, anything. You put a comma in this paragraph. Why did you do that? I don't really know. The partisan and often corrupt intelligence agencies, the George Soros money machine that spends a lot of money on the prosecutors, by the way. The Antifa thugs who are allowed to roam the streets while we have people that in many cases are great patriots, great, great patriots, saying prayers every night, playing our national anthem every day, and they're sitting in a jail nearby, rotting away, and being treated so unfairly like nobody's probably ever been treated in this country before, except maybe me. <laughs> and Marjorie, you've been so fantastic on that issue. Where's Marjorie? You've been so fantastic on that issue. And Elise, and Matt. People that love our country, people that love our country have been so great on that issue. And the perverts who use the names of Washington and Lincoln to buy millions of dollars in ads to say bad, libelous, and incorrect things about us. I didn't know this was a rally, Matt. It really is a rally when you, uh, by the way, thank you for that beautiful straw poll. That was a big win. Thank you. Our enemies are lunatics and maniacs. They cannot stand that they do not own me. I don't need them. I don't need anything about them. I don't need their money. They cannot steer me. They cannot shake me. And they will never, ever control me. And they will never, ever, therefore, control you. At the end of the day, anyone else will be intimidated, bought off, blackmailed, or ripped to shreds. I alone will never retreat, and that is why we must stand together and we will charge. We have to charge full speed ahead. You know, I had a beautiful life before I did this. I lived in luxury. I had everything. People said to me, are you sure you want to do it, sir? I said, oh, this will be so amazing. <laughs> what the hell did you get me into? I didn't know the word subpoena. I didn't know the word grand jury, those words, grand jury. I didn't know that they want to lynch you for doing nothing wrong. 
I didn't know they want to lynch you for doing a great job. I didn't know they want to put you away because your poll numbers are better than anybody they've seen in years. And then they go with the disinformation campaign. First of all, we're leading every Republican by massive numbers. And very importantly, perhaps more importantly, we're leading Biden by a lot. And we're leading Kamala by a lot. And every time the polls go up higher and higher, the prosecutors get crazier and crazier. We got to stop these guys. He says, we have to stop Trump now. We got to stop him now because we can't stop him at the ballot box. You know, they tried that in 2016. How did that work out? Not too good. And we actually, and I have to say this, I hope Fox doesn't turn off, but we did much better in 2020 than we did in 2016. Much better. But we have no choice. If we don't do this, our country will be lost forever. People are tired of rhinos and globalists. They want to see America first. That's what they want. It's not too complicated. This is the final battle. They know it. I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. This is it. Either they win or we win. And if they win, we no longer have a country. And I promise you this. If you put me back in the White House, that beautiful building, but I live in very beautiful buildings, it's not that reason. <laughs> beautiful. That building wasn't the easiest building to live in with what I was put through. And you know, I get a lot of credit. A lot of people say, how do you do it, sir? I had a man come up to me the other day, one of the toughest, strongest people that you can imagine. You all know his name, big businessman, a lot of money, a lot of success, tough as hell. And he said, could I ask you a question, President? What? Well, a friend of mine used to call me Donald, now he calls me President. <laughs> could I ask you a question, President? What? Well, how do you do it? How do you do it? Every day they send you subpoenas. Every day they're after you. They're looking to take you down at levels that nobody's ever put up with before. Seven years I've gone through this. We beat them all, but it continues. And he said to me, seriously, how do you do it? I could never do it. This is one of the toughest guys. I said, maybe you could. He said, nope, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out of bed in the morning, but I do it for you, and that's what I'm doing it for. I do it for you. Okay, huh? Thank you very much. And if you put me back in the White House, their reign is over. Their reign will be over. And they know it. And America will be a free nation once again. We're not a free nation right now. We don't have free press. We don't have free anything. In 2016, I declared, I am your voice. Today, I add, I am your warrior. I am your justice. And for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. I am your retribution. I'm not going to let this happen. I'm not going to let it happen. I will totally obliterate the deep state. I will fire. I will fire the unelected bureaucrats and shadow forces who have weaponized our justice system like it has never been weaponized before. It's sick. These are sick people. And I will put the people back in charge of this country again. The people will be back in charge of our country. The Biden administration is the most corrupt administration in American history. Hunter Biden is a criminal and nothing happened to him. Nothing happened. Joe Biden is a criminal and nothing ever seems to happen to him. Because, you know, say what you want, but the Democrats stick together. They don't have Mitt Romney. They don't have guys like that. They, they stick together. How's Mitt Romney doing? Not too good. I could name plenty of others, too. 
But they do stick together, whether you like them or not, and many of us don't, but maybe someday we get together. You know, a question was asked of me just before COVID came in. They said, the country is coming together. Do you think this is real? And I said to myself, it is real. It's amazing. I was getting calls from radical left people, the nicest calls. It's amazing, because we had the best employment numbers in history. We had the best economy in history. We were lapping China. China was supposed to have taken over as the world's largest economy, and we were actually increasing at a level that nobody thought possible. We were doing great. And then you had COVID come in, and a lot of things had to happen, and we did a great job. We never got the credit for that job, but we did a great job with COVID, and then gave back something very strong. But we were really bringing this country together. Had COVID not come in, I think you would have had a much different, because a lot of people want to know, can we all get along together? And I, if I didn't have that experience, I would say no, because the, you know, the thought process so do, is so different. But we were starting to really get along. And then we had the disaster as the, as I call it, the China virus, because I want to be, I want to be open and I want to be, I want to be accurate. But Biden openly held back a billion dollar taxpayer, all taxpayer money for the government of Ukraine. Remember he said, until they fired a prosecutor when they fired that prosecutor. And this prosecutor was after Hunter and the company that was paying him a fortune of money. Remember Joe Biden stood up and said, and I looked at them and I said, you're not getting that billion dollars. You're not, yet, until you get rid of the, I can't believe he did that. Can you imagine if I did that? <laughs> I wouldn't be here right now, I suspect. And nobody picks it up. Nobody wants to pick it up. It doesn't get any worse. It doesn't get any worse than that. Although, maybe it does. It's called the laptop from hell. That gets worse. <laughs> and yet they go after me over and over again about something that's not even a crime. They make up Russia, 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 which was a plan made up by crooked Hillary Clinton, Adam Shifty Schiff, and the Democrats, the DNC. They then made up a fake phone call. They took a phone call that was perfect, and they pretended that I said things that weren't even in there. They actually imitated. Remember Schiff? He stood up in Congress, and he repeated the call like I was a gangster. Over and over.